Hello and welcome to my channel. To prepare this natural lip balm, you need a glass beaker or any heat resistant cup. For the ingredients, I will be using 6 grams of beeswax. If you are allergic to beeswax, you can replace it with candelilla wax. I put the beeswax into my glass beaker. Then I add in 15 grams of jojoba oil. The skin of our lips is very delicate to cold temperatures and to dry air. All these are factors that can leave our lips looking dry and cracky. Pure jojoba oil will help restore moisture to the lips and leave the lips feeling and looking smoother and softer. I also add in 2 grams of shea butter. I do not like the smell of unrefined shea butter on my lips. For this reason, I am using refined shea butter. Adding shea butter to your lip balm will help to heal and moisturize sunburnt lips, dry lips, and cracking lips. I add in 9 drops of carrot seed oil. Carrot seed oil has a sun protection factor of 35 to 40. It will help protect the lips from ultraviolet rays. It has antifungal properties, which can also help protect the lips from yeast infection. Then I add in six drops of D-Panthenol, which is optional. D-Panthenol will help restore the natural moisture of our lips. I now heat and melt my ingredients using the double boil method. I put two glasses of water in a pot, put the beaker in the pot, place the pot on the stove, turn the stove to medium heat and melt my ingredients. Please remember to mix occasionally. When the ingredients are melted, I take the beaker out of the pot and add in two drops of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil suits and hydrates the lips. It promotes circulation and will help to lighten dark and pigmented lips. I mix for some few seconds so it blends well with the other ingredients. Then I pour the still melted mixture into my lip balm sticks. The quantity I prepared will be sufficient for three lip balm sticks. You can also pour your mixture into containers like this. But now, with the coronavirus, I am not sure any of us wants to be dipping our fingers into our lip balm, unless your hands are clean. If you do not have a lip balm stick, you can also use an empty lipstick container. After pouring the mixture into the lip balm sticks, leave them open for some few minutes for the upper layer to harden. When you notice that the upper layer has hardened, you can now cover your lip balm sticks and keep in the fridge for about two hours. After two hours, I remove it from the fridge. After removing it from the fridge, you should be able to roll the lip balm freely. If this is not the case, please put it back in the fridge for it to completely harden. And here we have our lip balm ready to be used. This lip balm can be stored for up to 8 months in room temperature. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give the video a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your support. Bye bye and have a wonderful day.